Hey guys, it's Blake here, and we are back with another film photography related YouTube video. So this past spring, I was very fortunate to be given some expired 4x5 film that had been cold stored or frozen since it was fresh, meaning there should be very minimal degradation. One of those film stocks was actually Fuji Astia 100, which was primarily meant for portraiture and fashion photography, partially due to its very pleasant skin tones, but also incredibly smooth gradation from shadows to highlights. I thought it'd be really fun to do a video comparing that Astia with Fuji's Provia 100F and Velvia 100, which are both very different film stocks in their own ways, but they are also very great go-tos as far as landscape photography. I also made sure that each of these photos were taken within a minute of each other, so the lighting is very, very much the same. This video doesn't show as much of the behind the scenes, but I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys the similarities and differences and kind of things I noticed when I um, initially scanned these films. When looking at these slides, I immediately noticed how well the Astia retained both highlight detail and color. Given that slide film typically has one and a half to two stops of under or overexposure to work with, it did a great job with handling this scene. You could see a very big difference in the grass in the foreground and around the bike path. The Astia has more of a red-brown look, while the colors and details start to wash out in the Provia and Velvia versions. And even on the leaves of the sugar maple, there are sections where the color on the velvia is just very vibrant, but there is not as much of a tonal separation between the reds. Whereas with the astia, you can very clearly see the different tones in the leaves. When looking at the shadows and midtones, you can see velvia 100 has a strong magenta cast, which is to be expected. In general, I try not to make too many large format images right on the side of the road, mostly because it's not very safe considering you're under the dark cloth, cars are driving by, but I had driven past these dogwoods a couple days in a row and knew I had to try and capture the color that was being produced. In these photos, you can see a much more red or magenta cast in both the Astia and Velvia versions, whereas the Provia is more green and yellow and does a better job at maintaining proper shadow colors. I think the most noticeable differences appear in both the trees on the left and the right side of the frame. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how each of the film stocks handled the scene, but I do think Astia did the best job regarding maintaining the colors and the highlights. I honestly had no idea how the films would react to this scene given I metered for the highlights and let the shadows fall into place. You can see the shadows do start to get muddy on all three of these slides, the Felvia being the most significant. The shadow on the mountain is also significantly darker on the Velvia 100 version. Once again, Astia rendered the Aspen highlights with a bit more detail compared to that of Provia and Velvia, but the Provia and Velvia do have more contrast making them pop a little bit more. So for this last scene, uh, my friend Anna and I were driving back over Tioga from where we had made the photograph of the Aspens, and we noticed there was a nice red color on the water. I hadn't made a photograph like this before, but I figured why not try? 
Well, the sun quickly went behind the cliff as I set up, so it didn't quite work as planned. A friendly reminder not to rush large format photography.